Okay, so we are live. And hello, everybody. I hope you're having a nice Friday. And it's a long weekend. <laughs> are you working? Uh, are you working on Monday, Tere? No, I work my. Uh, I have a private practice. I I make my own schedule, but I have a class for my group. Oh, okay. so on Monday you give a class, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Every month so, at seven. So then you are not taking a break on Monday. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> then I have to wake up. I have to wake up early because I have a patient in Italy that I have to see him virtually at 6.30 in the morning. It's wow. like no time for Monday. him. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, well, if you are international. <laughs> yes, yes. It's okay. So then, well, thank you for being here, Tere. Uh, thank you, everybody, for being here watching this wonderful interview with Terry that, well, we couldn't have last Friday because I messed it up. My apologies. Aww. But, well, thank you for giving us this opportunity, Terry, to interview you today. And, well, tell us about you. Who is Terry? Personally uh, and professionally. Well, I'm... Um... Teresa, born in Ponce, Puerto Rico. I'm from Ponce, Puerto Rico. I'm so proud of that. <laughs> uh, and then um, it's a special place in Puerto, in Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm so proud to born there. And then um, I grew up there. I moved um, to San Juan to study nutrition, like long time ago in the 80s. Um, because the only college that we were able to complete that degree was in San Juan. And then after that, um, I did my internship as a, di a dietetic intern in San Juan VA hospital. And then after that, um, you know, I moved, I work in some places in Puerto Rico. And 21 years ago, I moved to um, this area, Largo, Florida. And I was pregnant at that time. Um, wow. And now my son is in college. Oh my God, second year of college. And professionally, it's a, I'm a person that has been working as a dietitian for almost 28 years. And then I have different specialties that gave me the opportunity to understand more the whole picture of what's going on with the patient. And one of my, my specialties is functional nutrition where we see the patient as a whole no no like only one particular organ in specific or one particular disease in specific we see the whole picture of what's going on mm -hmm. I, yeah that is what i'm doing now okay that's nice thank you for sharing this personal and professional part so yeah. then well you you are um your specialty is nutrition. What would be your difference with other people that also do nutrition? Well, I feel like my experience is different because I, in 20 years, I have been working with adults and kids. And also, it gave me the opportunity to work in different settings, like a critical care, outpatient, um, inpatient in a hospital. But not only that, gave me the opportunity for 15 years, I teach um, interns, dietetic interns at the VA hospital and gave me the opportunity to teach and to learn because every time that I have to present about something in particular, let's say kidney disease, um, you know, to interns and dietitians or my nutrition, um, I have to prepare, right? And then my classes were famous because they were like, like almost two hour classes. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like that is what making me different. I try to learn from my patients every day, um, you know, and what I learned in the 1980s at college is not the same thing that I follow or practice today. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, well, before we continue, we have some greetings from India. Hello, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but hello from India. Hi. <laughs> and we have Rosie. Hey, thank you because she Hi, said Rosie. That we look very beautiful. Thank you, Rosie. And and hello, Anne. 
So, well, thank you, girls, for watching this uh, interview with Tere. It's really interesting what Tere has to share. So then, well, you are uh, independent. Uh, you, your practice is mm -hmm. independent, right? And, yeah. And that, what inspired you to be or to become an independent uh, professional? I think uh, because uh, my life changed on May, uh, May um, 10th, um, 2015, where I was getting blind. And then um, I look now another picture of what medicine is or um, the convention of medicine is lacking of a lot of things, especially like there, for example, um, I just have a case um, this weekend yeah. that the labs, they were normal. And then I say, no, based on your symptoms and based on, you know, uh, what's going on with you now, I feel like you should do like methylmalonic acid. That is the gold standard to check B12. His normal conventional lab, they say that he was normal or he was, you know, normal. And then when he checked methylmalonic acid, that was so deficient on that. And it's because I, I, that we have to take in consideration, you know, diseases start because if we have a genetic problem, a lifestyle problem, or um, environmental toxicity, that that is what happens to me um, six years ago where I was getting blind. I'm extremely allergic to mold. And then um, for the ones that, if you don't know, mold can cause so much damage to your body. Even I was getting blind. I have severe damage on my corneas. And by the way, I checked my eyes on yesterday and they were normal. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's no retinal damage. Yeah, because I'm in mold. Mold is yeah. really dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's true. Yeah. Because and you are breathing that thing every day, every day, every day. Yeah. And that's why yeah. you need to be very cautious about that, right? Yeah. It changed your microbiome or your bacteria in your GI tract that made you intolerance to gluten first. And second, it stopped the pathways of some absorption of complex B vitamins. And then that's the reason that sometimes you feel itchy or sometimes you feel some symptoms or brain fog, symptoms like that of toxicity. And it's because environmental factors. Even now, uh, there are more and more people um, talking about mold or environmental toxins because um, now the incidence of autism are ADD, um, they related, they think that they're related with mold toxicity. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So then we need to be very careful, right? With this, um, and especially uh, when we have like the AC units, right? That we have them oh. uh, yeah. cleaned and with the proper treatments, right? Yeah, I, I asked one of my friends, I just had a doctor the other day. I was like, I don't know why so many people um, are having a lot of high levels of heavy metals. That's another thing, that another problem. And he's, she said, just take the shower. <laughs> take a shower for ta with tap water for 15 minutes. And, you know, um, it's like uh, to take aluminum like four times um, aluminum levels. And that's the reason I'm seeing a lot of kids and adults with high heavy metal problems is another issue yes mm -hmm. yeah okay mm -hmm. yes there are a lot yes. of things around us that we need to take care of right yeah so in the, well in the pandemic that is that that happened uh, last year and well is still happening uh what were the challenges that you were facing during those times especially last year well, let me tell you, um, to work at a hospital, I was a clinical nutrition manager at a hospital. And to be a clinical nutrition manager, and I cover ICU setting um, when this start, when everything start. And then it's curious, I'm curious because, you know, um, everything supposedly was start on February, but since uh, December of that, 2019, um, we start seeing ICU patients that people that were dying and, and we didn't know why, especially younger people. And then on February um, 2020, we hear about this, right? About uh, the pandemic. And then it was like, so um, like, 
you want to learn more, right? How mm -hmm. to help the patients to improve their health. And then at that time where they don't have a lot of information. And then um, that gave me the opportunity to learn more and about this pandemic and things that can could happen at any time, right? And the thing is, uh, it gave me the opportunity now to do more virtual consoles. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people um, before they were not able, I was not able to do it because I was busy at the hospital. But now um, that I'm working, you know, in private practice, it gave me the opportunity to do more virtual patients. Yeah. And for that reason, I have patients everywhere, you know. Is I believe that, <laughs> yeah, I believe that you know we can spread the world um the words that about health, about um healings and about nutrition um more now. It's like I, I for me it's a blessing, you know, it has been a blessing um to work um more with and educate, provide educations to my patients and clients. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. Yes. At the end, you, you have reached more people, right? So the, one yes. of the, the blessings that you see uh, after this pandemic is that you have reached more people that normally, well, a person from Italy cannot come here just for an appointment, right? But you can yes. see a person virtually and you can help him or her or everybody. Yeah, people from, from Latin America in general from Latin America and I'm just like, I don't know that how they found me, <laughs> but I'm like, yes, I'm here and I can do this virtual. And it is amazing because, uh, you know, some programs allow you to communicate like, like you're there, you know, like yeah. close, like we're doing now. And I love that. I yeah. really love it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes like the interaction is different, but you can reach more people, right? So that is that is a nice, very nice. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So then, where do you see yourself in the near future? What is like your idea? Well, um, I have the, uh, because I have different specialties. I my two uh, main um, one of my specialties is ketogenic diet, and I would like to spread the world about how that can help to improve your um, health, health in general. And then I'm using that to treat um, women, Hispanic women. I have a program for Hispanic women, and I have a program for um, um, patients with polycystic kidney disease because until like February of 2020, we hear um, that for the first time, I hear for the first time that we can use ketogenic diet to treat pa uh, patients with polycystic kidney disease. They improve. The only option for these patients, they were like transplant dialysis. And now we know, I just have a, a one of person that put her labs today in a group and she's, um, you know, put there how much she improved with the ketogenic diet. That's and nice. my vision is to spread the word about that. And especially for Hispanic population that they're like hope and their hope to improve the quality of life. I'm writing a book about, hey. you know, <laughs> you know for um, polycystic kidney disease. And I hope that soon we will be able to, to just communicate and educate more people with these diseases. That's nice. Very nice. Yeah. Good. That's a good thing. <laughs> so then, um, how how do you serve our community? Um, every day I serve, I serve the community. I think uh, you know I have um, like um, Facebook page Keto um, Dietitians Puerto Rico with um, another colleague um, Ilcia um, Alicea. She's another dietitian, and we try to spread the word about how ketogenic diet help people and then every day i think if you go to the grocery store you go to any any uh, pharmacy or you know people ask and um in the social media you know instagram or facebook they uh, put questions and and i try to teach um you know everyone even healthcare professionals about about yes, this Yes, your your inter well the the interviews that you give the classes that you give are for just your community, right? 
Yes, yeah. yes, I love that. You know, I'm I'm so tired um, to hear women's, especially women's, that they say, I just went to my doctor and it's nothing else. He said, it's nothing else I can do for you. And I was like, oh my goodness. No, that's not, I never, you know, um, I always has, has hope, you know, yeah, with my yeah. patients. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm going to guide you. If you want, yeah. if you allow me, I'm going to guide you. And that's the, re the reason I create like um, Keto for Hispanic Women's um, program that is private um, page in Facebook. And I teach um, the clients that they're there like every Monday at 7. And we learn so much every Monday. You know, it's not um, my um, goal is not only to have one on one education with them, is to change the whole, you know, mind and spirits and body of them. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I think if we cover all that, um, we transform them. And that is what I'm trying to do. No, no, no. It's a hope. It's a hope. Always <laughs> is a hope. And I, I commissioned about options and you were yes, one of, of my resources. That was mm -hmm. great. Yeah, like you said, uh, if, if you, if somebody tells you, oh, sorry, there's nothing else we can do for you. I think that you need to rethink that. Uh, it's my personal opinion, right? Like you said, yeah. I think that you need to, to rethink that because... I think that there, there are always options and you have the possibility to choose. So then mm -hmm. one of the options is that you accept and what the person is saying, like, well, there's nothing else we can do for you. Or that you can say, well, what if I try something different and something exactly. changes, right? I think mm -hmm. that when you receive a, any kind of diagnosis that is like too radical, you need to think again, right? Because exactly. Because again... Mm -hmm. I don't think that the only option is like there is no more solution. I think that there are always options. And if you find people like Tere or like other people that are interested in helping you, not only in one area, but in different areas, I think that you don't you don't lose anything just trying, right? Exactly. So you can say, I will try this new way. Well, that they mm -hmm. say that is not trying, just doing. But well, you can do this new way and see what results you get. And then you can decide, yeah. right? If you if you prefer to be terminal <laughs> or no solution, exactly. Or you can say, "Wow, I have seen differences. I have seen changes. I have seen results." And one important yeah. point is that if you want uh, improvements, you need to do something different, right? Exactly. So then, that's that's what, a very good point, Terry. One mm -hmm. of the points is a lot of people they don't know that a lot of symptoms that they have or a lot of diseases that they have are genetic problems. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then uh, because I has been doing genetic tests for six years, it gave me the opportunity to just um, mash everything, like put all the puzzle pieces of the puzzle together, like a lab symptoms, genetics, you know, if I have it available, diseases that already uh, has been diagnosed and put everything together and explain that to the patients. And then it's a hope, always is a hope. Like, like, um, and sometimes it's just simple things, like you have to detox properly or you're so deficient of B12. And that's the reason that you you uh, feel some kind of symptoms, you know, like simple things that, um, that, for example, I have like patients that are intolerant to some kind of foods. And I soon, as soon as we find, find out about it, they just stop eating that kind of foods and they're fine. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, <laughs> it's like, and this is a particular patient that the doctor kicked her out of the office and told her that is nothing that we can do for you. And she called me and she said, well, I don't know if you're going to, if you will be able to help me uh, because the doctor says nothing I can do for you, for me. And, and I have so much pain. I, I cannot handle this anymore. And uh, I was like, it's a food intolerance, probably. Um, there are a lot of um, patients that don't know when you have bladder problems, irritation with your bladder. Um, um, it could be, um, it could be like food allergies or food sensitivity, and that's the reason. As soon as you do the test, the result came back, and she was allergic to something that, or sensitive to something that she ate every day, like banana. And I have another, I have like five cases so far 
of how many times you hear that turmeric is so anti-inflammatory for you. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. for these people are, who are causing more inflammation. And that's the reason that we have to be um, careful about nutrition is like, it's not one, like one paper is for everyone. No, we do personalized nutrition. We try to just, you know, see the whole picture, put the puzzles together, do educations to our patient and, and let them know what could be the cause and then try to verify that with some kind of uh, functional labs. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So then, well, and can you tell us how Babel Networking has helped you and your business? Oh, my God. I, I believe that everyone that is in this group is like their angels for me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly everyone has, you know at the picnic when i met um you know all of them most of them um it was like so like a family um and they have you I, knew them already right even if it was the first time that you saw them in person exactly exactly <laughs> most of them yes and then mm -hmm. i was so happy there and I'll, they, they ha let me tell you before in my practice i tried to do everything you know yeah. I'm, I'm the only one doing like facebook posts like instagram or whatever i'm like marketing i'm doing everything and then i have some angels in babel networking that help me to okay do this do this for me <laughs> and they guide me how to do it and i don't have to spend that time to do it and now i'm more focused on my patients yeah. um in my you know practice yes, and yes. yes i even my business card like oh my gosh i have to to go to store and print it and now it's like no more no more <laughs> and a lot of nice. resources like you and that you were in my in my class you did one of my two of my classes on monday at seven this week we have uh flavia oh my gosh talking about angels um yeah. and it was amazing amazing you know it's like and soon next week um we're gonna talk about essential oils and mm -hmm. how they help to heal and then it's like they're angels for me and it has been i love um this group mm -hmm. <laughs> and i'm so thankful for anna and you that <laughs> you know create this group right Yes, 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 no, thank, thank you, because, well, it's like everything, right? Uh, the, the information is there, uh, but if the people don't participate, right, then nothing happens. So then the good thing is that people participate, we are creating a team. So that is the important mm -hmm. thing, right, that we support each other. And you have seen support from our members. So that is awesome. <laughs> yes. I feel like there's superpower women and men in this yes, group. I know. Ah, yeah. because honestly, in my personal opinion, all of us, we have that spirit of, yes. of contribution, mm -hmm. right? Or that spirit of how can I help giving you ideas? Yeah. And even with the business that other people offers, like you said, right? Well, now I don't I don't worry too much about Facebook or Instagram because somebody is helping me, right? So then Janice is nice. my angel. Yeah, it's like helping each other also with uh, each other businesses. So that is mm -hmm. awesome. So, <clears throat> well, you have had some, some years uh, being an independent um, professional. So then what would be an advice that you give to people that are starting a new business or that they want to become independent like you are? What would be an advice that you would give? Because sometimes, you know, when you start something new, uh, there are some challenges and sometimes you want to quit and sometimes you say, oh, this is not mm -hmm. working. What would be an advice that you would I share? I think for me, a big change or, uh, was to join Babette Network and because... Yeah. I found right away what I was looking for, support that I was looking for, for many years, for two years, it took me <laughs> to, you know, it's interesting. I feel like God sent us like, you know, the message. And I was like, one day I hear about it. And I was like, I have to join at least for, because I joined other uh, networking um, groups, but I didn't like it. And then this group is like, we're a family, we're gonna help you, you know? I feel like that's the first step, 
I feel like if you join, um, you know, Babette Networking, if somebody is there that is going to help you some, you know, in any way to um, help with your practice. And I learned so much from you guys. I'm so grateful. <laughs> <laughs> we are grateful for you. Thanks for being part of this amazing oh. team. Thank you so much. Yes. So then any special offer that you have for the members or for the people that are watching this video because obviously members share the video with other people and maybe somebody says ah i need Tere services so then what is special um offer do you have for for these people usually i i provide like a discount for a one-on-one -on -one consultation and if this like um if like $75, if they, mm -hmm. um, for the consultation, usually it's more for my prior practice. And then um, I, if you're a Hispanic um, woman, they can join my group. Every Monday is not a cost for that, extra cost for that. And then they will be able to learn every Monday and then transform then in 90 days. That's nice. So then you you can give them a discount and plus they can join the group that you that you are um yeah. teaching every monday right yes yes ah, that sounds great <laughs> so let's let's see yes yes we, we need to share your videos <laughs> and then uh, well how can people reach you obviously when we post the video uh, you can uh, write also write down your information there but well also in order that people know where we can reach you how can we find you how how can we know more about you where where are your social media contact information well i'm in, in facebook as a keto dietitian puerto rico um my company is curious mind rd and then i have two programs keto for hispanic women and i have keto for polycystic kidney disease they can call me um Diana did my business car. I'm so happy. <laughs> my digital business car. I'm so happy for that because everything is there. I'm going to post it after. Yes, please and post it because like this is very easy that people can. Uh, yeah, look for it's so you. easy. Yeah. You just go there and then even you can see my bio. Um, nice. And you can see my specialties and that way you can maybe. Um, if you have any family with epilepsy, diabetes, or kidney disease, or you know, um, I can see them. Yeah. And I will encourage that, you know, we are here to help. And I will encourage, don't wait until you have kidney disease or um, like end-stage kidney disease to reach a person mm -hmm. uh, or, you know, that's really sad. And then I will, I will provide the information <clears throat> to you guys and yeah i'm in everywhere instagram and social media in general thank you so much Tere. well anyway when the video is posted if you can write all that information especially your digital business card in order that people just can no it's with a qr right they, they yes can... easy easy you just scan the qr or okay, just so then that's it Excellent. That sounds so great. And well, we have some other messages that is from Anna. Hello. Hi, Anna. Thank <laughs> and Joanna you. said great information. Thank you, Joanna. Yes, I agree. It was very nice what Tere shared, shared with us today. And Anna also said that blessings are always bigger than any circumstance. That is true. Yeah. We need to be able to see them, right? Because sometimes we don't see the blessings behind the circumstances. Exactly. And then Anna says, I am so grateful for you, Tere. Yes. Oh, are, I'm so grateful, grateful for you too. You are, <laughs> yes, we are grateful that you are part of this team, about your contribution about and, and, and about everything that you do for the community and oh. for... It doesn't matter the nationality. As you can see, she has people from other <laughs> uh, countries. So thank you so much for everything that you do Tere and thank you for your time for with us who you are and what you share with the world anytime anytime and I, I'm so thankful for you guys to help me to spread the world about it's a hope mm -hmm. uh, we just have to guide you guys we just yes. have to guide you and it doesn't matter what you have um we can guide you to heal to yes, exactly. you know to heal mm -hmm. especially for the hispanic population that 
they don't have the resources or they have the resources but they don't know about it and uh, we just have to let them know that is a hope and is um you know information out there and they can communicate with us to help them yes exactly and you have there that is a very nice guide when it comes to nutrition so yeah. well thank you so much thank you everybody for watching and see you next time bye bye friday and long weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>